Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique Gamma Gun modification, Lorenzo's Artifact. Although there may be minor spoilers in this walkthrough guide, I will not be going through all of the quests in great detail as it is a very interesting and intriguing questline and do not want to ruin it for anyone. So what we will need to do first is head to Bunker Hill. The first time we come here we will be approached by a man called Edward Deegan. Luckily for us, this is the man we are looking for. Edward will offer you to work for a man called Jack Cabot. Accept the work and head over to the Cabot house. Once at Cabot house, Edward will introduce us to Jack Cabot. This is where I'm not going to go into much detail. All I will say is follow the quests that he gives you. Continue on questing for him until he gives you the quest, The Secret of Cabot House. This is the quest we need to be on to gain Lorenzo's artifact modification for the Gamma Gun. Again, just follow Jack the whole way through. Head to the Asane Asylum, help Jack clear out all the raiders, and continue following him to the end destination. Once again, because the storyline is so rich and intriguing, and I don't want to spoil it for anyone, all I will say is side with Jack. After making the right decision and helping Jack finish his quest, he will reward you with about roughly 500 caps. Then there is a speech option for reward. As we can see on screen now, what you want to do is click reward. As we can see, he tells the player to come back in about a week and he should have a present for us. After waiting for one in-game week, we return to Jack, ask for the reward, and there it is, Lorenzo's artifact gun. The very gun we have been looking for. If that was a bit too vague, don't worry, just follow the quests that Jack gives you, they're very simple and interesting, and in no time at all, you will be up to the point where you have to go into the insane asylum with Jack. All you need to do is kill stuff and let the story unfold in front of you. So now that we have the weapon, before we look at the base stats of Lorenzo's artifact gun, as always, I have reduced all of my character's special attribute stats to one. I also have no magazine, bobblehead, or perk effects applied to my character, so what we will be seeing is the absolute minimum base stats of Lorenzo's Artifact. So before applying any extra modifications to Lorenzo's Artifact gun, we can see it has a base ballistic damage of 28 and a base radiation damage of 10. Ammunition used is the Gamma Round, its fire rate is 66, its range is 203, its accuracy is 69, <laughs> its weight is 4.5 pounds and its value is 753 caps. Now although there's no shown special legendary effects on Lorenzo's Artifact gun, don't worry, this thing packs one hell of a punch. And before we add any modifications, I just want to clarify that Lorenzo's artifact is actually a modification, a unique modification for a Gamma Gun. So what this means is you can actually take Lorenzo's artifact modification off the Gamma Gun given to you by Jack Cabot. Then what you can do, you can go and get your favorite Gamma Gun with your favorite legendary effect on it, and then apply Lorenzo's artifact modification to it. So not only having the legendary effect of the original Gamma Gun, but also the new special effects of Lorenzo's artifact which we will run through a little bit later on in the video. But trust me, there's some damn special effects. So now onto modification, we will be adding the Sharpshooter's Grip, which just increases the accuracy a little bit. And for the third mod slot, we have two choices we can choose from, the Electric Signal Carrier Antenna or the Signal Repeater. What the Signal Repeater does is just increase the fire rate to an automatic weapon. Now because Gamma Rounds aren't exactly commonplace ammunition, we do want to save as much ammunition as we can and make every shot count. So I will be adding the Electric electrical signal carrier antenna instead of the signal repeater. And what the electric signal carrier antenna does, it adds an extra 40 electrical damage per shot, not taking place of any of the original damages, but adding an extra 40. What it also does is adds an effect where you can hold the fire button to charge for additional electrical damage. So after adding those modifications to it, as we can see, we now have Sharpshooter's Lorenzo's Artifact Gun. Still has the base ballistic damage of 28, but now it has the additional electrical damage damage of 40. It still has the base radiation damage of 10, which is different to all other radiation damage, but we'll talk more on that later on in the video. It still uses the Gamma Rounds as ammunition, the fire rate is still 66, the range is still 203, the accuracy has gone up from 69 to 73, its weight has increased slightly to 5.1 pounds, but the value has gone up to 817 caps. So as we know, Lorenzo's artifact is a unique Gamma Gun modification. It also fires unique projectiles that may significantly knock back 
back enemies well above and beyond the normal stunning effect of a gamma gun. Unlike the vast majority of radiation weapons, the radiation damage dealt by Lorenzo's artifact is pure damage. It does not do radiation poisoning to the target, though it is still affected by radiation resistances and immunities. It is also still affected by perks that will increase radiation damage effects. But the fact that Lorenzo's artifact's radiation damage is just pure damage adds to the brutal charm of this weapon, and will undoubtedly always give your enemies a healthy dose of xenophobia. It should also be noted that while numerically a gamma gun has a higher damage, the gamma gun and Lorenzo's artifact have very different mechanics. The gamma gun has a core explosion component, but is mostly intended to do its damage in the form of rads, which is effective based on the enemy's maximum health. Lorenzo's artifact trades that off to do direct, unconditional damage. As a result, there will be cases where Lorenzo's artifact's lower damage will actually be much more effective than the Gamma Gun. As we did after adding the electric signal carrier antenna, this weapon does a dramatically different set of damages spread across multiple damage types, generally boosting its overall usefulness against the most enemies. It can furthermore be charged to do even more energy damage. Intriguingly, it is possible that the weapon was supposed to be non-lethal, as Jack Cabot states when giving it to the Soul Survivor, and I quote, it won't kill people, but you might find it useful in other ways. So perhaps Lorenzo's artifact was meant to have other throwing people around, knocking people out, controlling people's minds. Who knows, but luckily, thankfully for us, it now does actual damage and can kill people quite easily, I might add. So what is Lorenzo's artifact actually like in use in game? I don't know why or from whom, but I had heard that Lorenzo's artifact was kind of average. Not that interesting, not that effective, kind of weak, but I tell you what, this weapon kicks everything's ass. The huge spread of different damages just takes care of literally just about any enemy. The fact that the radiation damage doesn't do rads but actually just does straight up damage. If you add the electrical modification that we did, it does extra electrical damage. That's another damage type. It has ballistic damage, just straight up damage damage. There's also explosion damage. When a shot is fired and hits something or an enemy, there is a fairly decent and damn powerful explosion that comes off the shot. So if your enemies are grouped quite close together, one shot hitting one of them will probably take all of them out at once. This effect is also incredibly effective against things like Myelurks. If you hit them in the leg, all of their shells will come off no problems. This also affects power armor wearers. If you hit an enemy with power armor once, anywhere, even if you miss them and hit the ground next to them, the explosion coming off the shot will just about ruin their entire set of power armor instantly. So we've got these insane damage types, then we also have this incredible aesthetic effect. When hitting an enemy, sometimes they will go freaking flying, man. This alien artifact strapped to the front most certainly unleashes some interesting gravitational unnatural powers. Just a warning though, if you are shooting an enemy quite close to you, just be careful because you could hit yourself with the explosion from your own bullet. There are two other downsides, one's quite minor, and that is that the gamma round is quite an uncommon ammunition type. That's why we put the electric signal carrier antenna on it, opposed to the signal repeater. What the signal repeater did was increase the fire rate of the weapon, making it almost automatic. The electric signal carrier antenna also adds electrical damage, which I found to be much more important than shooting more rounds off. And I mean, to be honest, there's absolutely no problems with the fire rate of this weapon. It can fire damn quickly. If you fire off an entire clip of eight rounds into the enemy, if they're still around, then you might want to run the other way because I didn't have any issues taking out anything with this gun. And finally, the last downside, which isn't too much of a downside, is that the projectiles have a fly time. So if you are outside of VATS and trying to hit an enemy between, you know, medium and long ranges, you may have to judge where the enemy will be by the time the projectile hits them. So if you're taking a really long shot, the enemy might literally just move away from where the bullet's gonna land before it gets there. Inside VATS, no problem, it has a kind of homing in effect. Uh, there is actually also one more minor downside, and that is aiming downsides. I I mean, there's a bunch of capacitors and wires and stuff in the way. You can't really get a good aim. But then again, you don't really need it. Hit the ground anywhere near the enemy and they will go flying just like the UFO this gun came from. Lorenzo's artifact will teach your enemies the gravity of this situation. It might also give them some interesting facts about art. And finally, so we have three damage types on this weapon. One, two, three. If we added one more, it would be damage of the fourth kind. And here it is, Lorenzo's artifact in action.
I've been Kamal, I would like to thank you very much for watching, and I do hope that this video helped you in acquiring the unique Gamma Gun modification Lorenzo's Artifact, and also understanding how insanely powerful it actually is. If you would like to see other Fallout 4 guides, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. Of course, this will take you to my Fallout 4 guides playlist, where you can browse and choose freely which videos you would like to watch. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides that I upload. Once again, I would like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you very shortly in the next video, or on the mothership. Either way, I'll see you there.